Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking char siu roast chicken. So let's start cooking. Now we prepare the char siu marinade for the chicken. In a Ziploc bag, I have with me over here, six tablespoons of light soy sauce. Add in two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. 2 tablespoon of oyster sauce 1 tablespoon of young ginger juice You can make this by grating young ginger and squeezing out the juice 2 tablespoon of honey 1 teaspoon of salt 1 and half teaspoon of 5 spice powder 4 cloves of garlic smashed up 3 tablespoons of brown sugar 3 tablespoons of the sauce from red fermented tofu I will show you how it looks like This is how the red fermented tofu looks like You can use any brand you like, no problem Finally, we'll add a few dashes of white pepper Just mix it up well Now we're adding our chicken Wow, this smells really really fantastic Add in your chicken I have with me over here one whole fresh chicken weighing one kilogram. Put it in. Let the air out. Just pull it a little bit like this. Press out as much air as possible. And we'll just seal it tight. Make sure it's really tight. And now we massage the marinade into the chicken. It's going to be so delicious. Make sure to get some of the marinade into the cavity of the chicken Be gentle with this, don't break the plastic bag Once you are done with this, we will marinate the chicken in the fridge for a minimum of 4 hours Preferably overnight I will see you back in a while In order to make this dish into a one pot meal I have added in some vegetables 1 onion Quartered, you can use yellow onion, red onions, no problem at all 4 potatoes, half 1 whole carrot, cut into chunks like this Salt them up, add in 1 teaspoon of salt Splash in some oil And mix them up well Once this is done, I will show you the next step For this dish, I will use my Green Pan Featherlight Dutch Oven Here's the cover I will not be using the cover for this dish So we just put this aside This Dutch oven is super light And I really really love this Cut a piece of baking paper Place it on the bottom like this So it will be easier to clean later Add in all your vegetables Before you do this Heat up your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes Lay them out evenly And we'll place our chicken on top Now we'll place the chicken in I've rested the chicken for 1 hour at room temperature This is very important because We want to cook the chicken evenly Place the chicken breast side up This is to ensure that this part cook first because it's very thick We will tie the two drumsticks together Using a piece of butcher string Take one of the drumsticks over here Just tie a simple knot To secure it Something like this will be fine Just to secure it And bring up the other drumstick Like this Just put them close together and just make a knot Simple knot will be fine So okay, something like this will be good Next, cut two pieces of aluminum foil like this You wrap the wing tips with this because they burn easily Just simply secure it like this This will be good Do the same for the other side Secure it firmly like this And now it's time to roast our chicken now we might need to rotate it like this because of the uneven heat from my oven We roast the chicken at 180 degrees Celsius for an hour And we'll baste it at every 15 minutes to make it moist and to give it a good colour 15 minutes is up, we'll baste our chicken now Just baste it all over the chicken We'll do this every 10-15 minutes Be generous with this 
impart so much flavor into the chicken. Okay, we'll put the chicken in again and continue to roast it. 40 minutes is up, let's have a look. Right, very beautiful color. This is what we want. We'll now turn it to the other side and roast this for another 15 to 20 minutes. We've been roasting the chicken for an hour and now it's done. Look at how beautiful this is. We'll now proceed to thicken up the sauce and heat up the sauce. We'll now heat and thicken up our sauce or gravy. I'm using a La Gourmet Cook and Pour Series sauce pan. As you can see, it has hole punctured on the sides. So that makes pouring out when you're cooking your pasta so much easier. Without turning on the heat, just pour in your sauce first. Filter out the garlic. Add in 80 milliliters of water. Turn the heat on to medium low and we'll bring this to a boil. When the marinade has come to a boil, we will add in some cornstarch solution to thicken this up. Slowly add it in and thicken it to the consistency that you like. This sauce is very good as a dipping sauce. Just like cook for a while so that it will thicken. So using a spoon, if it coats easily on the spoon, that means it's done, like this. Now we'll turn it off and we'll start to plate our dish. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Oh, smells really good. Let's try this. Mm. Both savory and sweet. This is indeed very good. Very juicy also. I love this. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn to cook. Bye bye, see you again. Mm.